overwhelming percentage of police shootings are justified. Some of them may not be, but of the ones that are justified, sometimes a person, an active shooter or another criminal, gets shot 30, 40 times. And the automatic public outcry is, well, why did they have to shoot him so many times? So we're going to cover some points in this video, and then we're actually going to demonstrate what the uh, effects of a, of a police shooting could actually be. But with me, I've got uh, James Owens, Clay, and JJ. And Clay and JJ uh, have a pretty extensive law enforcement experience, and they wanted to share their perspectives on this as well. So what do you think, JJ? Uh, one thing that you see um, at the end of all these, and a lot of times they're after foot pursuit or vehicle pursuit, everybody's tensions are high, everybody's amped up, and uh, there's some good and some bad decisions made in most. Uh, the four firearms handling rules are just as critical during that as they are uh, on the range or doing any other kind of training, so uh, those things don't change. Okay, what do you think, Clay? Every officer is always going to be accountable for each round of fire. Uh, every officer has to justify it in his own way. So let's talk about a situation. Say uh, we've got a call, we've got an armed bad guy, we've got an adversary, maybe we've got an active shooter. Uh, what's a typical police response? How many officers can generally show up to the scene? What kind of weapons will they have in your experience? Uh, now, you can be anything from just uh, one guy by himself or up to kind of a Blues Brothers thing where you've got uh, the National Guard and the Illinois State Police piling in there by the dozen. So usually it's somewhere in between, you know, three, four, five, up to maybe ten guys. Usually it's pretty typical. Okay. So what we're going to do for you all today is we're going to use four simulated police officers. Oh, he's a real one. All right, he's a retired one. I, I used to do it as well. But we got four uh, officers. We're going to go with the challenge. Three of us have handguns. One of us has a rifle. Would you say this is a pretty typical response to, to a shooter? One officer may have a rifle. The rest will have pistols. Absolutely. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a... A uh, three second time limit, and we're going to use a shot timer to simulate it because gunfights usually happen pretty quick. So, we're going to set a three second part time, and we're going to see how many times this target that can get shot with four guys who are already at a low ready position uh, is simulating a, a bad guy that needs uh, to have deadly force applied. So, we're going to see how many bullet holes can be applied in three seconds with four officers. Okay. So, what we're doing here is this is a, a good distance here, maybe. Uh, four yards, five yards away. Uh, if police show up, they're going to be close. Let me see your hands. You know, don't you know, don't reach for the weapon. Whatever the command is. And so what we're going to do is on the part on the beep, which will simulate the uh, deadly force response. We're going to actually do that. So we're going to go ahead and get the shot timer set to three seconds. All right. All right, Amory Holster. Okay, so we'll come on up here and we're going to see just how many shots that there were. If you can see this, we have got several, several shots. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, almost 50 rounds, folks, as you can see uh, right there. 50 rounds, so let's go ahead and debrief this. All right, so it's almost 50 rounds. Well, how do you explain that? Things happen fast. Uh, again, good and bad decisions both often happen quickly. And uh, the sympathetic reflex when one round goes off, if people aren't very disciplined, uh, if there's a lack of supervision or supervision sometimes, uh, where you don't have some type of uh, control steady hand involved then these things can go south very very quickly okay and clay what do you think if say, say it was justified it was a justified shooting how could you explain a guy getting hit 50 times and still be justified well if he were to raise the weapon towards us or gave, gave me they, it's the reasonable officer doctrine i'm reasonable so i would say i'm a, this is a threat to me so i'm going i'm going to engage well you're also thinking the same thing mm -hmm. you're thinking the same thing he's thinking the same thing so we all have the same thought process and we all made the same decision which turns out there's a lot of rounds fired but it just fine. okay and it's possible for somebody to be hit that many times and still be on their feet would you say depending on where they're shot absolutely mm -hmm. depending on where they're shot so next time you see people that that you know if a police have shot somebody 30 40 
that many times and you say, well, that's just that's overkill, it's unnecessary, think about it. If you got three or four officers there at the same time and they're shooting and each one of them can shoot four or five rounds a second and it lasts three to four seconds, that's going to be a lot of bullet holes in somebody and sometimes justified. So it's not always the police are over responding, they're not overreacting, sometimes it's, that's just how it is. Now it's light out right now, imagine if this was dark. Imagine if this was in the dark where it was more chaotic and more surprising. I think that uh, there may have been even, even faster rate of fire than what you saw. And the vast majority of uh, suspects that are shot are under the influence of alcohol or drugs, so their, their reactions are not typical of your average person. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, you've got that coming into play, and then the officers themselves, how they're reacting to all that as well. So, yeah, they do. All right, everyone, hope you found the information in the video helpful. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Facebook. Link is down below. If you want to learn how to get some training, come on out to Valor Ridge, and we'll teach you how to do just that. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.